Yeah. The Fox 23 severe weather team continues to find more damage across Midtown Tulsa, one of the hardest hit areas with winds reaching an estimated 100 miles per hour during the storm. Just when you think you've seen it all, we found some more. Fox 23 Spencer Humphrey shows us the long list of repairs ahead for people and businesses in Midtown. One thing that's hard to not notice here in Midtown Tulsa on this Monday is just how eerily quiet it is. Not a lot of traffic. I mean, I'm able to stand here in the middle of historic Route 66, a road that's normally packed with cars, and it's all because of this, the damage that has shut down infrastructure and has yet to even begin to be repaired. It's just simply unreal. It looks like hurricane came through here, really. Almost two days after the storm, Alan Karstetter still can't believe what happened in the neighborhood he's called home for 60 years. When you drive around the neighborhood, you really can't just drive somewhere. You'll have to turn around because of situations like this. If your trees aren't uprooted, if your sidewalk isn't littered with limbs, you're lucky. If you need firewood, come to Midtown Tulsa because this will take care of you. His neighbor's tree took up its entire root system when it fell, burying a car beneath it too. That thing's 10 foot up in the air. Down the block, others aren't so lucky. This house got crushed by one of its trees. Yale Avenue between 11th and 15th impassable because every power pole along it is now laying in the street. One even landed on a moving car. At 11th and Yale, the only thing keeping Route 66's iconic Tally's Cafe from being crushed, this crane holding up a teetering utility pole. What a force of nature we must have had. The whole Midtown area looks like yeah. this. That includes the Tulsa Fairgrounds and Expo Square, where a horse competition is now canceled. This is the damage to the F-150 barn here at Expo Square. You can see part of that roof just torn clean off, windows blown out. The scariest part, we're told this barn was full of horses and people when that storm blew through. Thankfully, county commissioners say all horses and people are safe and accounted for, but Expo Square and its neighbors have a long cleanup ahead and they're still in the dark, too. It's gonna get hot today. In Tulsa, covering news that matters, Spencer Humphrey, Fox 23 News.